Hello tutors, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we're having a catch up on the Tyron 4 build at last. Now, as you can see, we've got some some tracks on now. Uh, majority of which were supplied by Greg Riley, so thanks again Greg. Uh, I think I've I've thrown about uh, probably about six links <laughs> into the, <laughs> of my own into this. If you remember guys, I had to buy a a, literally a whole box. What happened was as well, there's been a delay on this, uh, not through lack of interest, it's just that Greg had tried to sort me out with um, some more tracks, but they were the, the wrong ones. He'd got a kit that uh, he was going to put metal ones on, uh, but unfortunately they were the wrong ones. And uh, the Kai over at Tank Russia tried to help me out, uh, and again we couldn't get through on that one either, uh, so I ended up buying some, and they took a while to get here. So it's just been a it's just been a delay really of of and, and in between I've I've done small bits to the stowage, uh, but but not a huge amount. The the tracks themselves, again you know I've heard people say oh they're not keen on, yeah I can understand people not keen on sticking them all together they do take time like any any of these uh, type of tracks, uh, but I actually I actually. I had no problems with them. As I say, said to you guys, I've lost a couple of pins uh, to, to the carpet monster, or, or I broke a couple. And uh, but they were actually quite hardy. You know, they, they, I, I thought they would. I'd heard horror stories of them, of them breaking apart, and I think that's just because people hadn't glued the very ends of the the pins in. And if you do that, they're, they're absolutely fine. You know, they they'll flex properly. The only thing I've had a problem with here. And I cannot get it to fit any better, which has really annoyed me. But I like to show the bad with the good. The drive sprocket here doesn't fit properly uh, with this uh, with this track. Uh, they, they will fit perfect on a mini art uh, track on a, on a mini art sprocket because mini art, you know, they they are you know state of the art type of thing when it comes to to, to all the minutiae details. But this is this is on a completely different kit. And uh, I, I just couldn't get it uh, to fit any better. And, and the thing is, as well, being not metal tracks, you still, although I've just said, you know, how hardy they are, you know, I didn't want to crush and pull them up and push them too hard. Uh, but even still, that they wouldn't fit any better than that, which is a shame, really. But uh, there you go. Uh, what else have we done? We haven't done a huge amount, really. Uh, I'm put this tarp on at the back. Uh, as you can see, it's just it's just uh, silver foil. Uh, I've put some odd shapes underneath. I, I I just got this magic sculpt out and uh, just made different shapes for it to. And I had some, some bits of plastic card that I stuck on top of the of the the sculpt uh, j just to to give it a hard edge, just to, to replicate you know boxes and things underneath. Um, and then I just hand brushed that with with uh, Vallejo. Uh, the polyurethane primer. I'm not a huge fan of it, but you know, in this type of thing, I'll, I'll just use that. Uh, the it's supposed to be a bit of rope hanging off the back, as we can plainly see. It's more like two copper wires, <laughs> which it is put together. But uh, I've got to highlight that rope up a bit more yet. But I've done a bit of highlighting and that. I didn't want to do, put any oils on it. Uh, all I've done then is is use the same techniques with the with the that I've used. Uh, you know. Um, just use acrylic washes really uh, that I've made myself you know paint washes up just to give a slightly dusted effect uh, I still will probably put a very light bit of pigments on it uh, right at the end when it's sitting on the dio and the same with the tracks as well Oop, that's, that's it I'll just chuck it over um, with the under, under the camera uh, with the tracks as well I'll give them another another dust and I have put um, pencil uh, lead graphite in places on the top, it's not massively shown up, but uh, and I've stuck the, uh, the the one thing I probably did wrong is I should have used super glue uh, on these uh, on the track join. I've tried to put it somewhere at the bottom and glue it to the base of the one of the wheels. I can't remember if it's this one. You can see whichever's got the most dirt on because I had it. The problem was I'd use sprue glue goo uh, to to. Uh, put round the join, and of course it's softened up and 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 disconnected the link. 
uh, but it wasn't massively showy. I don't think so anyway. Let's just turn around and we'll we'll see. Hang on. This is the problem. I've got such a small working area. If I film this downstairs, I don't have enough light to to make it look good. Although let's face it, uh, there we go. You can see we've got our trap guard missing on the mud guard missing on the uh, on the front there. So you often see that. I didn't want to put both of them off. I just wanted to. Yeah, it must have been on. No, it's this side down there. Um, I've had to just put a bit of dirt around it just to hide the join, which has been quite successful. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I didn't want it to, the, the tracks, I didn't want them too muddy, but it's almost like it's come to a halt, so it's still got, you know, it hasn't had time to flick off a load of the the, the sandy mud. Um, and uh, so as I say, a bit of, bit of, maybe a bit of, I've got some Golan Heights type of stuff from MIG. Uh, pigment, it's the only pigment I've got, so... Uh, so yeah, that's that. Now I've also oh, I scrabble for things as usual. Not prepared, Gav. I've made a couple of things up to go on as stowage on the on the tank itself. Um, I've made up a I've made up this little sports bag, and it's just got some goodies on. Maybe some perfumes and stuff for the girl back home or whatever. I don't know, but I just, I, th I just thought I wanted something uh, to show uh, that it's. I don't know. It's it's a militia of types in itself. Lebanese army. It was, it was supplied by Israel and that. But I don't know if the discipline would be like the British army. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so you know, we've got some, we've got some bits and pieces here, which is all playing into the little dio really. So that's our little sports bag. I know it's not brilliant, but I'm not very good at things like that. That's just sculpt with a bit of plastic card shoved in to represent boxes. Uh, here we've got a veg, uh, uh, a basket for greens. Maybe I can, instead of, I'm, I'm wondering whether to stick on top of on top of this because they just look like a bunch of cucumbers <laughs> there, but it's just supposed to be some type of greens. <laughs> Of food, uh, vegetables or whatever. Uh, I'm wondering if I put some plastic card leaves, make some plastic card leaves a bit thinner. That looks a bit too, uh, what I'd call war gamey, if that makes sense. Uh, I tried to do a little tape cassette here, uh, not massively successful. Uh, and we got our little, little. Tried to make up a little tool roll, uh, cut some plastic card into. To like roughly Spanish, I don't know what type of what type of nuts they have on these T55s, but I don't I can guarantee they're not going to get much open with those. Uh, and there's screwdrivers. Yes, they are supposed to be screw top tops of screwdrivers. Uh, they're just obviously bits of wire. But yeah, that's my that's my go at making stowage. I don't think I'll be selling much on eBay anytime soon. Uh, now this is just bits and pieces I've got to, to that I was working on last night to make the stowage up. Tamiya binoculars. Uh, I saw some South Lebanese Army ones with green, and obviously the green covers are on them. So, oops, I'm going to put a strap on that and hang it from somewhere on the tank. We've got our cot here. Or is it is it cot or is it a... I'm not sure if it's if it's a sleeping cot or a, or a stretcher, to be honest with you. But uh, I tried to do a bit... A bit of, that's not been particularly successful. Put some oil washes over the... The metallics dud it right down, and I don't know if that's going to look particularly great yet. But uh, and these are some Tamiya stowage. This is from their um, like Desert Storm type of box uh, you can get. So I'm not saying obviously it's supposed to be a sleeping bag. I'm not saying every anything is what these guys would have used. But I tried making stuff up with 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 um, sculpt, and it just wasn't looking right. So. This is really just to bulk up this the rear tray. So hang on a second. Let's uh, let's go uh, drone view. So the rear one at the back. That's all going to be put in that. Uh, what else? Oh, made up the old copper wire uh, towing cable. I need to find out. I'm about two inches too short because <laughs> this was the wire that I'd already pre-cut. Uh, I just I'd got a load of pre-cut copper wire that I use for ropes and bits and pieces. 
uh, and I just you know thought it would uh, fit. I've tried to round it up to stick it on the front in a coil, but that didn't really work either. So I'm just going back to square one, finding a length of copper, and starting again. Uh, believe it or not, this is supposed to be a carpet. <laughs> yes, a carpet. As you can see, I thought it would be good texture. Uh, in real life, I would imagine if they were using a carpet as for a bit of comfort to lie on, they'd have probably wrapped this with the with the hemp side, hessian side, uh, outwards. But I was going to put a couple of designs. I was only having a go at this last night, so that's that. Uh, one of the T50. Oh, I'm going to knock this off at this rate. One of the 255 boxes, there was a load of extras because this originally was obviously their T55 Russian uh, box, I would imagine. And there's a load, that they've not bothered taking things off sprues, so there's loads of things on. So this is going to be for the crew's, you know, valuables. And that will go in the box as well, in the tray at the back of me. What else have we got? Um, oh, we've got a cut, I've got, oh, probably about two years ago, I, I bought some resin barrels for something I cannot remember what and never got round to use them. These are the base coats on them. Obviously they've got to be rusted up and mucked about with and stuff. That's for the Dio. Uh, we've got a, a little... Uh, we use foam, I say we, 20 odd years since I've been in, but uh, we use foam uh, roll mats and I believe that's what that's supposed to be. So. That's got to be worked on yet, it's only had a coat on. Uh, this might look a bit odd, and it's going to not look great. Hang on a second, I'll put it on top of this the box I've just shown you, because I think it'll be the easiest way to not break it. Now I'm hoping this, this is in the box set, you get some helmets put on your stowage. I filed down the front, and I've added these. I'm hoping <laughs> when it when I get to paint it, it'll look alright. You know these like Israeli tank helmets? They've got the Israeli Sinai grey on them. Well, from where... Th this is an actual... Like an elasticated band that goes around. And there's normally a couple of... We used to use them. There's a, there's a couple of... Like um, Daglo, Dubri stickers at the back, you know, to, to show you the, the bloke in front. Uh, but it's the right height. All this would be leather... On these on these tank commanders helmet well tank crew helmets uh, with the leather uh, ear pieces for the for the obviously so you can hear and then I'll just put a bit of plaster card together as a as a as a mic uh, so I'm hoping when that's Sinai grey that's brown leather and these are black uh, they might just might <laughs> look like an Israeli tank helmet and I'm going to put that on the top of the tank maybe with a wire or something off it just to show it's it's um you know that's what the communication device is for um i'll just put these little guys on here and we will be finishing the video believe me right here we go let's see if we can get these to not roll off right these little guys are going to be representing uh, one's going to be a Coke can or Pepsi or something. Uh, I filled that up completely and put a little hole in, uh, and I'll just have that somewhere sitting on the side of the tank. Uh, and all the others are going to be painted up. Uh, once they've been primed, they'll be painted up as uh, like food cans, and they're just going to be detritus. That's um, when the bulldozers come in to make the tank burn. Um, it's uh, it's obviously just scooped up all the rubbish like these oil drums and, and these type of stuff. So be a few of those. I'll make a few more of those yet. Uh, and they're just the paintbrush holder tubes. Uh, sorry, that to protect the bristles. And um, I'll just shove some putty in either both ends or, or through the middle, you know, just to make it a complete can. Now they're slightly out of size. I understand that for, say, a pop can anyway. Maybe not if the food can's probably okay, but the, the pop can they're probably a bit, a bit out of scale. But uh, again, I'm learning. It's just uh, it's just a slow process. And then obviously, I've got 30 cal, which I'm still working on, and 50 cal, which is a bit of a. Okay, uh, I had to position it like that because it was going all over the place. So um, it's again, you can see it's all out. Of, I'm not happy with that really, but. It is what it is. 
So guys, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Again, this is as close as we, as far as we got with the tire and build at the moment. Oh, and I've got our first bloke is is on the way. So, oh, and I've got this little fella here. He's almost finished. Got the eyes and stuff, and one more highlight. This is scraps. Uh, he's going to be on the tank. And this guy, I should have said. Now, as you probably, if you look at the um, the box art of the uh, when I did the sh the unboxing of these guys, he's obviously handing over uh, money to Hoochie Mamas or to the pimp. <laughs> uh, obviously, they're not in this, and the pimp's been converted into. Well, he's not converted; he's just being used as a tank crewman. Now, this is supposed to be money in his hand. There, you can't really see, uh, but it's actually going to be a biscuit or a, or a you know some some food for for scraps here and scraps is going to be stood on the tank you know and he's going to be you know somewhere down there like that that's the idea anyway just to make it again setting the scene really telling this telling the story uh, named him scraps because uh, they used to be uh, at Besbrook Mill in Ulster where I used to operate out sometimes they uh, the Army Air Corps had a had a little a little terrier called scraps uh, that each unit used to look after as they they moved in. We all had different, you know what it's like with soldiers and dogs. Uh, they all they all adopt each unit adopts one. And uh, this little fella used to jump on and off the helicopters. We used to have to scoot him off before it flew off. Uh, but yeah, so he's a little nod to scraps back in Besbrook Mill, uh, back in the day. Uh, and uh, he's going to be called Scraps. So yeah, guys, starting to waffle. Oh, one other thing. Yeah, nearly forgot. I can't keep forgetting. Uh, now this is not a giant lily pad. <laughs> tried, believe me, I've tried doing this. I can't can't move it back anymore. Uh, obviously, it's a sun lounger type. Was it no um, cafe tabley type thing? I don't know what you call it. Now the idea is, uh, I've tried to make it more, you know, hang down. I honestly thought that if I added some some glue. To particular areas of, of the struts here, it would soften it enough that I could just gently move it down. But it started to crack the the plaster card. I put a few holes in. They've got a bit. Of, I think I've just brush painted this with that primer. I just need to open those holes up again. But I've tried to make it a bit ragged. Um, but that is actually going to stick. I wasn't going to show it to the end, but I'm not going to take it off here now. But that'll stick. Hang on. That will stick somewhere. There's this debris here, and I'm going to have it up there. One, uh, it's going to be shading the crew because this is just on a long, long overwatch of across the valley type of thing. And two, it'll I'm hoping it will cut the view down into the tank itself so you can't really see that there's you know, apart from some obviously down there. I've put some sprue and plastic card in just to just to try and you know uh, make it not look as empty. But I thought, well, if I put that on top, again, it's all part of the story. It's a real casual scene, so oh, I can't just put it in view. But that'll be on top, um, just placed in so it can come off and just take it off. Uh, but as I say, I do agree. <laughs> it just looks like a giant lily pad, really. But uh, you know, it's a learning curve. You know, another ten years' time, I'll be able to make uh, sunshade umbrellas absolutely perfectly. I'm sure, along with everything else. Yeah, one day. Right, guys, that is everything. Uh, so the next time you see this, uh, this stowage will be on. Uh, I'm going to start in the next day or two. Where it's the, the diorama itself is absolutely. Tiny. I don't want to. I haven't got the room for it, and I'll probably end up throwing it all in the bin when it's after a few months. I just don't have the display space for them. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a, a small diorama. It won't be a lot. Roughly a berm, and uh, well, the front of a, a tank berm anyway, uh, and whatever you know, for the three figures, and maybe something else just to break up the up the scene. Uh, but uh, that will be it. Uh, now, that's that. Uh, up and coming modelling videos. I've got obviously that Chevy uh, pickup truck. Uh, that's bubbling away in the background. 
I'm, I'm literally there's loads of loads of uh, um, connector points. What do you call them? My head's gone again, but yeah, the, you know, the, I've, I've lots of clean up involved anyway on that. And the difference between a tank and that is everything's on show. <laughs> so although they're not on the outside, I'll give them that. But you know, you want to turn because I'm trying to do it all nice and flashy. If I turn it over to show you, you'll just see a load of uh, a load of you know pin marks and stuff, ejector pin marks and things. So it's just taking a while to to, to clean all that off. And I'm and I'm only doing it up on a catch. That one will take a while to do because I said I just I was hoping to do it maybe a video a week, but I'm not really in a position. Once I've got it into it's starting to look like something, I'll 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 start sticking a couple of videos up. So once this one's done, uh, the next one is the Tamiya One in Thirty Five Pink Panther. Um, uh, I won't be starting that just yet because obviously I really want to knock this on the head and it takes a while to paint the figures um, but uh, you know it's whether it's a month away a couple of weeks away that's that's next on the on the list with the well, as I say with the with the pickup in the background uh, and I've got some more obviously some figures I might do one of these other two figures I've got as a just as a sped up video, I'm trying my best at, at the, the editing side of it and that, it's not really working at the moment, but uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a few more a uh, few more uh, figure videos, f yeah, f figure? Yeah, figure videos coming up soon, so uh, look out for those as well. Take care of yourselves guys, sorry it's been a long one for a quick show and tell, <laughs> as usual, <laughs> but things don't change and it might just it might just fill, fill some time in as you're painting or modeling. Take care of yourselves guys, speak soon.